this stuff here in the US costs 4,000 to 5,000 US dollars to have to buy this. As we don't have money, we don't have fun, but we want to serve with our heart. So I built this equipment myself. And you are, I think, the only trained occupational therapist here in Haiti. Is that right? Yes, I am for the moment the only Asian with a occupational therapy license in Haiti. I've been trained in the DR to have my occupational and my physical therapy degree. Then I did a, a doctorate degree in the US in the University of Medical Science, Arizona. Now you have come back home after your training and you have established uh, a foundation for disabled people here in the northeast of Haiti. Uh, my dream was to be trained and to be back to my people and help my people, be with my people. I can work in the state, I can work in Canada, I have, I have a license, I can work in other countries. But I decided to come back to my country and help my people because I think here I am doing something that nobody is doing. This is a country which suffers a lot from natural disasters. And I think in 2016, before Hurricane Matthew, you were involved in preparing and the response and thinking about the needs of disabled people. We realize the need of disabled people is their participation into society. Mm -hmm. So to do that, we pass with one action, is to involve disabled people in the action we are doing. So we know their need, so in the staff conducting the project, and most of the staff were disabled people. We have 12 people in staff, okay. like with salary staff, but yeah. we have 20 volunteer staff. In the 12 staff, we have five Who with kind of disabilities. disabilities. Okay. And so, what sort of disabilities do they have? Uh, we have disabled policy that makes okay. with, that makes with uh, with uh, um, physical and mental disabilities okay. and, and intellectual disabilities. Okay. So, so we a mixture. Can, a mixture. Yeah, it makes mixed. Uh, we receive 150 patients every week. We have seen the change made in the in the mind, in the attitude of people living without disabilities because now they are seeing disabled people very different because they are useful. They can provide services to them to maintain a community with a good balance and equality for everyone.